Packers make their way. We'll get underway with Brandon Johnson, currently number two in the Inmar Pro Tour standings. Solid consistency this year, a third and a second so far. Wow, the small weights don't seem to be affecting Brandon. He just went huge on that front. Another big trick for Brandon. That elephant was way out in the flats. Sets up heel side for his Moby Dick. Look how clean he's riding. I mean, there's no slack in the rope. He's just going right around the handle on every trick. He reminds me a lot of a show ski jumper and a freestyle jumper Dave Reinhardt, who has such great aerial awareness. When Johnson rides and does the inverted tricks like that, he always has a great presence of mind to know where he's at. Yeah, and that makes a big difference in your riding, too. If you always know where you're at, you always know where the water's at, it's very easy to land. And here's the big reason why he knows. This guy, an accomplished stunt plane pilot. Right, I talked to him about that the other day. You know, this, it's kind of similar. It's very much a finesse sport where these little inputs make huge differences in G-forces. Second pass now for Brandon Johnson. Pack in as many tricks as he can, and then the double up at the end. It's like Brandon's style of riding, he just he harnesses the energy of the wakes and the boat that are already there, and he just leverages and just does everything very smooth. Comes in toe side for that indie back roll. Really big again. Be interesting to see how Brandon and the rest of the field, so many of these guys rode so poorly in Atlanta, to see how they all rebound. And Brandon rebounding nicely, it looks like. Okay, and here's that whirly bird. Look how smooth he spun right around the handle. Always knew where he was at. He spotted the water real early, and that really helps with the landings. No effort on the landing at all. Now the double up. Comes in toe side. And another perfect landing for Brandon Johnson. Terrific out of the box today. 71-44.